Good morning, everyone. It is about 8 o'clock on Friday, and I just thought I would vlog just today because I've got a few things that I'm doing, and I don't think I've ever showed them in a vlog before. Um, <clears throat> first off is I've got a little grudge on me. I also need to list more things on Facebook, so I thought I'd just kind of show you guys the process of, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's not that complicated, and it's going to be hard to really show it because... I vlog on my phone, <laughs> but I will get to that. Um, and then I have a dog coming this evening and I thought I'd film me grooming her. I, if anybody doesn't know, I'm a trained dog groomer. I don't work in shops anymore, but I have a small client base out of my house and I've got a new dog coming. I've never done this dog before. So I thought I'd film that. Um, yeah, so just woke up, slept horribly last night. I got sucked into Webtoons. I'll leave a link below if I can. I'm not, can you link apps? I'm not really sure. Um, it's just called Webtoons. It's like a big green box. <laughs> and if you guys are into comics or anime or anything like that, it's got like tons of that kind of comics type stuff on there. Um, shocking, I know. Pride didn't peg me for like a comic reader. <laughs> um, I've got some good ones. And I started, which one was it? I started the Red King, but I didn't like it. So I got off of that. And I started something else. The Blood King, maybe? It's not horrible. I'm not loving it. It's a little corny. But it's not horrible. Um, but there are several good ones on there. I, I can leave a link below of what I've been reading on. Ghost Wife, surprisingly good. <laughs> The animation looked bad, but it's not bad, and then, but the story is not bad. And then Lore Olympus, love that one. Um, the only downside is that you have to either pay for new updates or wait like a month to get them. So guess who's been paying for comic book updates? <laughs> Me, stupidly. Um, yeah, so I laid in bed reading until like midnight, and then I could not sleep, you guys. Like, I... Went to donate plasma yesterday, and when I opened the door, it like caught the side of my toe and ripped the skin off down the side of my toe. Yeah, so that is what my toe is looking like. It's pretty gory, got me in two different spots. And pretty much all of last night, like anywhere I'd roll, I would end up touching my toe against the sheets and it would just, oh, hurt and so it just made sleeping really hard and I finally figured out if I lay if I was like laying close to the end of the bed I could just stick my foot off the bed and kind of solve the problem but I didn't I did not get much sleep last night sorry turn your lights off on you so let's open up the front door I mean I've got the heater going but I like getting some natural light so just go ahead and open that Levi is on his jumping horse I'm sure you can hear him poor kid woke up with a bit of a cold this morning um I'm assuming he's coughing. So I am now I'm backlit. I'm horrible. Oh my gosh. Worst vlogger ever. So he woke up coughing. I need to get him some cough medicine in a little bit. But he's pretty happy and they're playing right now. So I'm going to take advantage of that and feed Ira. I heard Ira fussing a little bit ago. But because I like you guys and I'm going to be courteous, I'd go put on a bra and some pants. Plus, I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> Hashtag I need the money. So... Yeah, that's why I was in my room, I was putting on pants and a bra. But Iris went in there making a little bit of noises. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him a bottle, get him fed, and we'll get on with the day. Also, my kitchen is trashed. I'm kind of thinking about trying one of those cleaning videos that seem to be pretty popular. I like watching them. I just don't know how I feel about making them because I clean because I have to, not because I enjoy it. So I'm like, what am I gonna say in this, this over voiceover? Here's my disgusting kitchen. I should have cleaned it last night and didn't. YOLO? I don't, what do you say to that? Um, I don't really have any helpful t tips, I don't think. But anyway, yeah. So I'll film that, but I might make it a whole video in and of itself. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just throw it in here. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get Ira a bottle.
And I'm just gonna give it a nice little shake to make sure there's no hot spots. It's also kind of what the knife is for. Be careful microwaving your bottles because it can make hot spots. Um, but I've doing it this method, I've never had an issue, which everything is good and stirred and mixed. So as long as you make sure everything's mixed up, you should be good to go. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Oh, hi, sweet bean. How did you sleep? You want to eat? What's that kitty doing? What's that kitty doing? Jinky monkey. Did you want to see the baby? Did you want to see the baby? And tell him good morning. Say good morning vlog. Good morning vlog. The topic he's getting, oh my goodness. Five months old and he is in six to nine month clothes. <laughs> You're getting so big. Sometimes even 12 months, depends on the outfit. Okay, he is dressed and ready for the day. Time to get this kid a bottle. Because he's hungry. Because he's always hungry. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, there's some smiles. There's some smiles. <laughs> okay, breakfast for today is a little breakfast burrito. Um, I had some extra Taco Bell mild sauce packets, so I threw that on there, cheese and egg. And then Levi is having scrambled eggs, yogurt, and then him and I are going to split an apple. And Ira is not happy about being in the living room by himself. So I tried to start filming the clean with me, and I ended up having camera problems with like my actual camera. Just had the battery needed to be charged, and so I'm just gonna insert what I got filmed here. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be doing a clean with me, more importantly, a uh, clean the kitchen with me. Uh, if you can't tell, it's trashed. <laughs> this happened to anybody else's kitchen. Like, I, my husband cooked last night. The kitchen exploded. I don't know. <laughs> Should have done the dishes last night. Didn't. We're doing them now here in the morning. Um, but yeah, just the floors need mopped. Uh, things need to be dusted. There's crumbs at places, and ah, the kitchen is trashed. So, let's get started. needed everything wiped down and put away so these are all of the little jammies that I'm selling today at the garage sale meet they're all zero to three months and this guy won't stop talking what? yes you have a white car and a red car and a blue car and a Hot Wheels truck and we've gone over all of it fully aware because I bought them so go play with them and stop going over everything it's exhausting um <laughs> yeah this is everything that i'm selling so five onesies or five sleepers um a dollar sleeper so getting five bucks and yeah so and this one was levi wore it and it was a hand-me-down so his cousins wore it his cousin luca wore it and i just think it's really cute i can never decide if this was like an outfit or a sleeper for levi he ended up fitting in it during colder months so he wore it as both a sleeper and an outfit ira only fit in it this summer so he wore it as a sleeper but 
<gasps> They're so cute. And I love this set. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just think this is so adorable. I would like to get him another one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Goodness. Do you want to go outside? And Burn some energy off? Go! Go! <laughs> Boom! And you crashed. Yeah, so that's everything I'm selling. I'm hoping the lady meets me. I know she's working right now. I sent her a message asking if we were still on for a meet at 2.30. She never got back with me. But like I said, she's working. She said she would meet me right after work, so... Hopefully that's the reason she hasn't messaged back. But yeah, so this is gonna get sold. And then anything that I sell that is my kids, I put into a savings account for them. So Levi is three and currently has like $800 in his savings account because anytime he gets money for birthdays, Christmas, a gift, or anytime I sell anything kid related, it goes into his bank account and then we're doing the same thing for ira and ira is up to 200 dollars. so not bad for a three month old well this is not three month old he's a five month old what? Purple car. it is a purple car all day long so i'm going to take this kid outside and run him and maybe wear him out a little bit because he is exhausting <laughs> Stop. we'll make it jump Doing tricks, huh? You are jumping. Are you jumping to the sky? As high as the moon. Where's the moon? You guys, this trampoline is like the best purchase I think we've made for Levi. I mean, I got it on a garage sale for like 75 bucks, and it's just been amazing. If you guys can get your kids a trampoline, like seriously do it. It just wears them out, which is great when they're tired, because then they sleep. You like that little elephant, don't you? That's your favorite? Crashing. Crash. Oh. <laughs> Boom. What color of water did it crash in? What? Dance. Dance. Are you going to dance? No. No. What, what color of water did it crash in? Red water? Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it is it deep red water? What? Yeah. It's orange. An orange? Red and orange? Blue and water. And blue water? It's a lot of water it crashed into. Gray water? A black water? Black water? A color. The colors. Oh, so we got that water. all filled in over there. It's black pretty water. great. Black water? And then that is almost gone. We're down to like one pile left over there. And then we started filling in dirt. We got this chunk finished. I don't know. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but We've got that part filled in. <laughs> and we got a little thing over here filled in. 
I don't think you can really see it, but we've got like all that left to do, but it's coming along. So we're pretty excited about that. So I am almost 10 minutes past the garage sell me. I showed up five minutes early, it was at 2.30. Showed up at 2.25. I didn't get a hold of the person about confirming our meet. Like I sent them a message at like noon asking if we were still on because we set this meet up like two days ago. She sees it, never responds, which I thought, well, she's at work. She told me she was working, we'll let it slide. I show up for the meet. I send her a message when I'm on my way to the meet. She doesn't respond, <coughs> but she sees it. She waits until 2.30 and gets a hold of me and says, I'm stuck at work, but I'm sending one of my coworkers to come and get it. Shouldn't you have planned ahead for this or said something or told me something? Like, if you could look at your phone, like, you'd think you could at least send me a quick t quick text to let me know what's going on. Because now it's 2.40. I am officially 10 minutes past our original meet time. The other person, the coworker person has not shown up. And, like, I'm only making five bucks off this stuff. Like, really, like... Could you at least plan ahead? Like seriously, or let me know what's going on. I hate when people do this. It's completely inconsiderate of other people's time. It's very annoying. But I think the person is here right now. Maybe. Maybe not. She just said it'd be a big white work van. And there was a big white Renaissance van just went by. So I guess that wasn't them. And I seen another big white van go by earlier and I thought, okay, this is them. Nope, somebody else. So. I just find all of this to be rather no. annoying. And of course, the kids are not no, happy. No, no, no. At least Levi's not about having to sit back here. Like, no. it's just frustrating. They finally showed up 13 minutes late. You see the van driving away in the back, or kind of could see it. <laughs> but like, good lord, that's just completely inconsiderate of my time. Like, I could get it if it was a last minute thing, or like she forgot and no, I didn't no. try to contact her on it, but like, I got a hold of her at noon and she's seen it and read it. And then I got a hold of her on my way to the meet and she's seen it and read it and nothing. And it's like, jeez. I mean, I guess at least she didn't blow me off. That's something. I've hit people just like completely blow me off. And it's like, that's just even more rude. At least she sent somebody to come and get it. But like, it's just aggravating. Like, where's the common courtesy? Seriously, I don't know. When I'm late, I let people know and the one time I completely blew a person off I ended up giving her a Victoria's Secret bra for free because she ended up waiting for like 20 minutes for me and I felt so bad so I was like you can just have it it was probably like a $60 bra that I hardly wore and I just gave it to her for free I think I wanted like $20 on it 20 or 30 I don't know um but I just felt so bad because I completely forgot about the meat I completely blew her off I didn't show up and then when she got a hold of me, like she had to wait 20 minutes for me to even get there. So I just gave it to her for free. And it's like, <sighs> it's like I'm not perfect, but like, I don't know. Like when, when you're reading my messages and you're not even responding, it's just aggravating. So we're at Walmart. I need to run inside and get spaghetti sauce for dinner tonight. Uh, and then I wanted to see if they have this little dinosaur dress that I thought would be really cute for my cousin's daughter. She's got a birthday coming up. I found it online. It doesn't look like they have it in store, but you know, sometimes that, sometimes that's wrong. <laughs> so hopefully they have it in store because if I order it offline, it won't come until like November. Her birthday is the 26th of October. So yeah, we're going to run inside and do all of that. I forgot to put Levi's shoes on him. So he's going on a shopping cart and probably won't be very happy about it, but oh, whatever. And I, I'm covered in spit up. Like Look at all this baby baby goo yeah I, mom life i guess <laughs> okay so we just finished up at walmart i spent like 14 dollars <laughs> was planning on spending that much could not find the dress for ali so i have to order it online levi talked me into brownie bites to be honest it wasn't wasn't that hard to talk me into it mm, look good and I ended up getting four jars of spaghetti sauce because first I picked up Prego. Prego was on clearance for a dollar thirty-eight. It's regular like a dollar eighty something. And then I seen that Great Value had theirs for a dollar twenty-eight, which was even cheaper than Prego on clearance. So I ended up buying two jars of the chunky mushroom because that's the kind of like salt, not salsa, but spaghetti sauce that we like. And then I seen that. Barilla had 
coupons on two of their jars of salsa, um, which made them 83 cents. They're regular dollar 83, but you got a dollar off. So I should have put back the great value ones, but for, for starters, I wasn't sure if we would like roasted garlic. We always get the mushroom. I'm sure we will because we do like garlic, but I bought, I went ahead and bought all four jars. We'll use it. We go through spaghetti sauce quite a bit, but, uh, yeah, I should have just went ahead and put back the, the great value, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> and then when I was in the kids section looking for Allie's dress, Ira is not happy. Ira wants a bottle, but Ira always wants a bottle. I'm gonna get this kid fed. He likes to graze. Like he'll he'll eat like three to four. Sometimes he'll suck down a whole bottle, but a lot of times he'll do like three to four ounces and then take a break, and then half an hour, ten hour later, wants the other part. And it's like, dude, I can't sit around and just feed you all the time. <laughs> like Levi would just like suck down an eight ounce bottle and be good for three hours, and Ira's like. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. And I was like, dude, eat the whole thing. And I try to coax him to eat it all at once so he doesn't do the spaced out thing. And normally his first bottle of the day, he's really good and he'll suck it all down. And same with his last bottle at night. But like everything else in between, it's hit or miss if he eats the whole thing or if he grazes on it. Which gets really frustrating. <laughs> but they had um, toddler's underwear on clearance for $2. So I got two packs of these. Um... It, he's doing really good with potty training. We haven't, well, he had a pee accident the other day, but it was his first accident he'd had in a very long time. So he's doing really good. But um, he's currently 2T3, T3. 4T is a little big on him, but they had him in 4T. So I was like, you know what, $2 for underwear? Like, kids' underwear tends to be like six plus dollars. Like, it's not any cheaper than adults' underwear, and they're in it for like three months. Like, so, like, okay. Let me know if y'all have done this or not. I'm sure you have. My kid has hand me down underwear from his cousins. Yeah, like two different sets of cousins have given him hand-me-down underwear, and I'm like, we'll take them. We'll wash them. I'm not hating. Like, <laughs> I think I've in total bought him three packs of underwear so far, uh, just because my cousins have, like, done hand-me-downs with us, which I so appreciate because kid underwear is expensive, and they don't wear it for long, and <sighs> yeah. So, anyway, when I see them for two bucks, I bought two packages. The other package was ripped open. And I wasn't gonna buy it, but then I seen that the rest of the underwear was like right next to it. Did this end up having more? Oh, I'm short one pair of underwear. Okay, well still, I got five pairs of underwear for two bucks. That's, I'm still not complaining about that. So, like if it only had two pairs of underwear in it, that'd have been a different story. I wouldn't have picked that up because as you can see, the package is all torn apart. But you know what? Five pairs for two bucks. <laughs> I'm still not complaining. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna head on home. Uh, Mike will be home soon, and then I've got my dog coming, and I gotta make dinner, so we'll, we're just gonna get on with our evening. Okay, <laughs> take two. Apparently I wasn't filming. Um, so I'm getting started on dinner. I'm making up some spaghetti. I've got some ground beef here in my pot. This is a lot more than we would normally use. However, this has been in my fridge for a little while, and I wanna get it used up before it goes bad, so it's just gonna be an extra meaty sauce <laughs> tonight. To season my meat, I've used garlic salt, minced onion, a fair bit of oregano, really like oregano in my spaghetti, uh, garlic and red pepper, and then a little bit of basil, but not too much because I don't want it to make things too sweet. And so I'm just going to get this all cooked up and then we'll move on to sauces. I just finished up making dinner. I had to do a jar and a half of sauce. So I did a whole jar of the roasted garlic, which is pretty good. I mean, it's a very strong garlic flavor, which is, should be obvious, but um, did a whole jar of that. And then about half a jar of chunky mushroom because there just wasn't enough sauce because I made a very large batch of spaghetti, but that's okay. That means I don't have to make dinner for like tomorrow, you know, or like maybe even the next two days <laughs> so got our spaghetti done and I like to mix my sauce in with my pasta let me know in the comments below do you mix your sauce with your pasta or do you ladle your sauce on top of your pasta personally I'd rather have it already mixed so I don't gotta bother with it when I'm eating it and then I made some garlic bread homemade just some little slices of whole wheat bread with butter a sprinkling of garlic salt and some shredded cheese about 20 minutes in the oven at 250 
50. Does the trick on that. And so we've got this. So this is Kiki. She is my new client. She just got dropped off. I've got her bathed and blow dried. She is a Shisu poodle mix. So that's why her hair is straight and kinky. She's super sweet and super fluffy. Like she's so soft, like insanely soft. Um, so my phone is at 30%. So I will see how much of me grooming her uh, I can film. <laughs> The first thing I like to do after bathing and blow drying my dog is I start clipping their toenails. This helps me to be able to shape the foot when I start doing my scissor work a little later on in the groom. And I just like to go ahead and have this already completed. Uh, also, some dogs like to fight you. Um, like Kiki here isn't loving it. This is her first groom ever. So if I start off with uh, clipping her nails and I... I find her struggling with it, um, I can clip that and come back to it when she's a little more distracted with something else. So it's, it's kind of a jumping around process when you groom. You don't always do everything all at once. It, it's all about based on what the dog is comfortable with. So sometimes you'll do a paw and they won't like you doing your feet and so you'll switch to something else and then you come back to it. So start off with the nail clippings, came back to it a couple of times. Uh, now I'm going to rough out her undercarriage and her um, genital genitals. <laughs> um, again, this is her first groom ever, so all this is a bit scary for her. She's not really sure what's going on. So I do decide to um, take my blade off and just put the, uh, put the uh, clippers against her without a blade, um, just so she can kind of get used to the vibration, because that is... You know, kind of scary for a dog. That's something that they're not used to, especially a puppy. She's only a year old. So this is completely new. She's never been on a table before. She's never been groomed before. As mentioned, I've said that several times now. <laughs> Getting a little redundant, sorry. Um, so yeah, this is just, just, just grooming a puppy for the first time. But she did really, really well for not having any idea what was going on or for knowing me. Okay, here I am getting into some of that scissor work I was mentioning earlier. When I trim the fur along the paws, I take the hair back to the base of the nail. And if I've not clipped the nails yet, then if I clip them after I've done my scissor work, uh, then I'll find that I have to go back and scissor again because the hair will um, be longer than the nail shaft, if that makes any sense at all. Hopefully it does. So that's why I go ahead and clip nails first. That way it's not an issue when I get to this part. Um, I can already just clip the hair to the length of the nails once and I don't have to do it multiple times. Okay, moving on up towards Kiki's face and ears. She does have some mild matting, nothing serious, but I am just um, brushing her out and then I'm going to split a few mats here um, that I can't get out with my brush. Uh, splitting mats I think is kind of hard to explain exactly, um, but it's a really simple process to do. So, you know, maybe you'll notice what I'm doing when I'm watching it. Um, or maybe you'll notice what I'm doing <laughs> a 
while you're watching it. Sorry, guys. I am sick. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. And my brain is not working. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, when it comes to her face and her ears, her owner wanted her ears short because she says they grow really quickly and because they get mats in them. So I went ahead and gave her a little bob. Uh, this was my dog personally. I would have kept the ears a little, a little bit longer, which is a light trim. And I would have done a poodle cut on her because she is a um, poodle Pomeranian mix. I know in the beginning I said she was a poodle Shih Tzu mix. Uh, her owners actually corrected me and said that she was a poodle Pomeranian mix, which I found shocking because I don't think she looks like a Pomeranian at all, really. <laughs> um, so yeah, personally I would have done a poodle cut with a shaved face and a little bit of longer ears just trimmed. But uh, yeah, her, her owners wanted puppy cut and short bobbed ears. So that is what I did. She is finished. I think she turned out pretty good. I mean, she does have a mixed coat, if you will. I mean, she's a mixture of wanting to be a Shih Tzu, wanting to be a, a poodle. Um, but I think she turned out fairly good. Do you look over here? Do you look over here? Put their ear down. Let's have a look. What do we think? I think she looks too bad. Keep in mind, it was her first cut. She's one years old. She's still got a lot of puppy left in her. Um, She's never done this before, so we've got to work on table training. She obviously has no idea what's going on. I'm a complete stranger with sharp objects and things that vibrate, and I'm touching her and all her nitty gritties, and it's scary. So she did start to calm down towards the end of the groom, so I figured out I'm not hurting her. But uh, she'll get better as she gets, gets older, and she does it more often. 
So, Go. some of you guys might remember me doing the newbie box Go. unboxing a few months back. It was like a subscription, or well, it is a subscription box, but they also Go. offer like a free box full of like baby samples. The cool thing about newbie box is that you can get a box for free, you just gotta pay for shipping, and it's full of like really cool samples. Uh, but they also give you a sign-up code, and if your friends use the sign-up code, then you get a free box. And I included that link um, on my YouTube. Anybody who signs up and just even just gets the free box gets a sign-up code. Um, so I included that on the unboxing video, which I can link below if you want to check that out. Um, but enough of you guys used my code that I got a free goodie box. So I thought we could just do a quick little unboxing here and see everything that's inside. So it came really cutely packaged. It says newbie. I love how newbie packages things. It's always super cute. So there's a Bioderma Intensive Balm. I'm not really sure what this is for. Ultra Soothing Balm for Dry, Irritated, Sensitive Skin. Okay, so it's like a lotion. I'm not really sure. I have to look this one up. It's a lotion or is it like a dry skin kind of a thing? Um, it looks like they sent like a travel size of it as well, which I think I got one of these in my original sample box too. <coughs> and they have a Bioderma Sensi, Sensi Eye, some, how, this, how is this for babies? Eye contour gel, what? That can't be for babies. Gel, it's like French or something, like I can't read it. Eye contour gel, sensitive intolerant skin anti-puffiness soothes and moisturize okay so it was like a nighttime cream for like me <laughs> I, I guess that's what i'm going to use it for because i'm not going to put this on ira <laughs> i don't think he needs a anti-puffy nighttime cream so that must be for mom and then you get a little makeup bag that's really cute my cousin is actually doing something right now where she's collecting old ipsy bags um and filling them full of feminine hygiene products and then our church is donating them to third world countries so young girls will get a reusable menstrual pad and a pair of panties pair of underwear so i'm actually going to give this to my cousin so that she can you know use use that for that purpose because i personally don't have a use for it so Oh, that's kind of neat that's kind of cool so um so yeah i guess that's gonna be everything for this video i hope you guys did enjoy watching so thank you so much for sticking around hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe so other people can find my videos no make sure you subscribe so you keep keep seeing my videos and make sure you give it a thumbs up so other people can find them <laughs> i lost my tripod so we're at like a weird angle here and i'm trying to block out the light <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope to catch you in my next one